What's up squad? This is Chuck It's with Simply Vegas, your Las Vegas realtor bringing you another property tour. So today we are actually out here in the northwest side of town. We are actually in an area called Lone Mountain. And uh, Lone Mountain, if you are looking to buy more of a dirt lot, more land, this is the place to actually be. What you'll see is there's tons of custom homes around this surrounding area, as you can see. Now coming back to this property right here. So the asking price of this McMansion right here is 1,490,000. This thing features 6,422 square feet, six bedrooms, two dens, and one loft. A total of eight toilets. As you can see, there's a six car garage with boat and RV parking. So let's take a look at this property and see what it has to offer. Also, I wanted to give a shout out and a special thanks to uh, Nicole J. Griffin for allowing me to do a video tour of this property. She is with Win Realty Group. And if you guys have any questions, uh, I will have a link in the description below. Uh, you guys can reach out to her. Now this is definitely a nice property. Love the stonework here. Look at this, they even got security cameras, floodlights, okay. Love the uh, architectural design here. Now we are in a cul-de-sac here. As you can see, uh, this cul-de-sac is a total of two acres. Each cul-de-sac is a half an acre. Here's the uh, property line here, as you can see. Now this one, there's no HOAs. Love the uh, rock wall there. Look at that iron door. Love the iron door. Okay, as we come in. Love the courtyard. I mean, take a look at this architectural design here. If you want to be about 30 minutes away from the strip in peace and quiet, this may be the neighborhood for you. Love the texture on the stucco here. That is very hard to do, that fine, fine texture. Also, I like it how it actually transitions into the home. Take a look at this. As you walk in, you have this nice piece on the floor here. Let me pan up. Look at this stonework all the way up to the top. Isn't that gorgeous? Love how it just transitions into the home. Eight foot iron door. So we're gonna start off here, the first bedroom here. This right here is actually the closet. All the doors are actually solid doors. Coat closet. All eight foot doors. You got black trimming. Okay, so here is the first bedroom. You got 10 foot ceilings. This one has a ceiling fan. You have carpet inside. You have your eight inch custom baseboards. You also have a central vac right there too as well. It looks like they have already pre-wired everything for your cable TV right there. Okay. Here's your walk-in closet, which is a decent sized walk-in closet. Now I believe every single bedroom actually has its own bath, which is a plus. Here's your full bath. 
You got granite on the vanities. Here's your tub. These are cast iron tubs, so these are quality tubs. You got stonework all the way to the top. It is a porcelain tile. Okay. Nice color fixture. We're gonna be coming into the uh, second bedroom, but let me just show you this right here real quick. What this is, is a part of the central vac. You should be able to hit this. And what happens is you can scoop all the dust in here once you have this turned on. So I thought that's kind of a cool, I don't know how great it works. This one actually has some solid hardwood floors here. Look how high the ceilings. This is an eight foot door. That's another five feet. That's like a 13 foot ceiling right here. Look at that. You got plantation shutters throughout. Looks like your TV wall mount cable would actually be right here, which is really nice. Okay. Look at the hardwood floors on here. Solid wood. Coming into the bath. Love the, the vanity. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Look at the attention to detail on this granite. Porcelain tub. Beautiful fixtures. Do love the stonework here, that's for sure. Now the earnest money deposit on this is $15,000. This right here would be your, I guess your formal dining area. Take a look at the tile work here. Look at that stone work. Coming right here is your butler's pantry. Now there are some LED lights underneath the cabinets. Fortunately, I cannot find a switch to see where it's at. But take a look at the quality of these cabinets. These are actually solid wood cabinets. Really quality, okay? You got your refrigerator, wine chiller, that's your ice maker. Look at that, it's cool, huh? You got your soft closing cabinets. It's really nice. And check, check this out, I love this limestone right here. This is a thing for me, like, I'm starting to love limestone. This is kind of my new thing now. Hopefully I started new trends instead of that quartz. So on the other side, we actually have more ample storage. These are 42 uh, upper cabinets. And um, we have a nice backsplash here, subway tiles, a lot of storage. So it looks like here's the architectural plans for everything, okay? Now, as you can see under here, these are actually the uh, LED lights. You can actually buy them like at, online now on Amazon and all that stuff. Now, normal on a butler's pantry, you actually have a swinging door here, okay? But I'm gonna take you guys back out to this side. Now this is kind of your little lounge area, but I'm gonna get to this towards the end. I'm gonna come here through the kitchen here. Take a look how gorgeous this kitchen is. Look at this design of this kitchen. Love it. Look at the stonework. I mean, look at this. Beautiful. Stuff like this, man, this, this just gets me all the time. Look at this undermount sink, and look how deep this sink is, right? Look how wide this undermount. It's like one, two, three. Probably about three feet, I would say. Look at the can lighting, and look at those bifold doors. I'm gonna show you how that works. That's actually really cool. You got your monogram sub-zero refrigerator built in. This is pretty sick. And also, let me show you this pantry. This home has so much to offer. 
Look at this. Look at these pullouts. Isn't that gorgeous? I sound like a real sales guy, don't I? Let's take a look at this refrigerator. Bam, son. Okay. So we have your, for your pots, double stack oven, monogram microwave. I mean, look at the crown on here too. Attention to detail. Now this one is a electric, okay? Cook countertop, which is nice. Love the fact that we got a nice pot filler here. And we got a industrial range, which is really nice. Kind of open this and kind of give you an idea, okay? Like that glass. Look. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention is the two dishwashers. Let me know in the comments below if you guys actually use the dishwashers. Um, you know, me and my family, we use it for like storage. That's how uh, we Asian people do it. We don't, we don't use a dishwasher. We just use it to store um, dishes. <laughs> okay, so here's like the family room. Here's another room, however. I'm gonna take you guys to this massive garage. Oh, let me show you this. There's so much to look at. I can't even stay focused. Look at this, natural lighting. That is such a plus, okay? Also, look at the crown. This is a 12 inch crown. This is actually throughout the house. I mean, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Alarm system. All right, let me take you guys out to the garage here. Again, solid doors as we come out into the garage. Look at the garage, fully epoxied. Like, if you are into cars, right? This is where I'd park my 7 Series, Lamborghini, Huracan, right? And just an extra toy car, right here. Six car garage. Isn't that amazing? Look at this. Huge. Huge. Love it. I mean, Look at this, they even put the baseboards out here. Impressive. Here is your power box, okay? Sprinkler system. Orbit, this is actually a good programmable um, sprinkler system. What I like about it, you can set it during the day, the time, however you want it for the summer and winter and it's all programmable, which is really nice. Now, if you buy a resale home, a lot of times the sellers don't have the um, manual for it. You can actually go online and get the model off of it. Here's actually your central vac, where you'll plug into all your walls and this is where when you vacuum, everything will come right here. What's nice about this, they also had a AC hooked up as well. Right here, this would actually take you out to the back, okay? This right here would, you know, wash your, um, I guess, tools or, you know, paint buckets, whatever you want to wash. This is kind of like your dirty sink area. We actually have two um, hot water heaters. Now, this is fairly... This looks like the original. So this is actually 80 gallons. So you have a total of 160 gallons. Now, remember this home was actually built in 19, I'm sorry, not 19, 2008. Sorry about that, guys. So if we come through this door right here, this actually takes us into another room, okay, into the house. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back through the the garage door to the kitchen here. Well, I like the uh, door lock. Look at the flooring on here. Look at the patterns on the floor. Isn't that cool? All 
All right, so that one room that we were just in is actually on this side here, okay? There's the access to the garage, okay? Now, it looks like your TV components would all go here. Here's your French doors that leads to the side of the home. Now, keep in mind, the home is actually facing north. So the sun is gonna be setting on this side here, okay? Also, take a look at these. This is actually kind of cool right here. This is just a system that protects uh, you from criminals breaking into the home. How it actually works, so let me show you here on this one. Which is, I think this is kind of a cool mechanism because these, these are solid doors, so they're gonna be hard to break through. So all you do is take this, all right? Take this, turn it around, go like this, and that's it. They will not be able to kick the door. And you just hang it back up, just like that. That's cool, right? So this is more of a, could be like your mother-in-law suite, however you want to do it, because you actually have your private garage access here. TV right here, right? You would have your couch somewhere right here. Then you can also put your bed right here. And here is the bathroom for it. Look at the tile work. Three quarter bath. You got your fiberglass shower. You have nice stone work all the way from top to bottom. And look at this vanity right here, or this sink. Very unique design. I don't care too much for it, it's not my style, but hey, it's cool. So coming back out here, so the pantry, when we come, when we actually came in through here, the pantry is right here next to the Mon Law Suite, but look how huge this pantry is. This pantry is huge. I love how big this family room is. So for the family room, as you can see, we actually have wiring for surround sounds, it looks like, and it has recessed lightings throughout. So it looks like your TV would go there, okay, on that wall. And I love these bifold doors here. Let me show you how it works. So what you do is unlock that. Okay, there you go. You open this up, right? Like this, okay? Now what you do here, you release that up here, you pull this, right? Look, look how smooth this thing just glides. Let me just show you guys here real quick. So we're going to do this one, pull this, this thing is glides beautifully, beautifully. Now, take a look at that. How gorgeous is that or what? Look at this. Isn't that zen? You can hear the water with that mountain view. Look at the mountain view on the back there. It's beautiful, huh? Oh, it looks like you also have an option to put the TV here on this side as well. Now, before I show you guys the backyard, because the backyard is the best part, I'll show you some other things here. Here's your powder room. Very creative bowl. And it's got a little counter right here that's granite, which is kind of cool.
So there was the uh, entryway. So right here would be your dining area. Okay. This would be your patio area. Okay, again, having problems with doors. For my longtime subscribers, you guys already know I always have problems with doors, and here's probably one of the reasons why. Okay, what's cool about this mechanism here, um, you can actually use, use your foot, but I'm not gonna use my foot, just wanted to show you. You push down to lock it, you can't get to unlock it. You know, matter of fact, I can't even wait to go to the backyard. I got to show it to you now because it's so beautiful. Love the gas fireplace. Love the stonework. Very huge. Now let's take a look at this pool right here. This pool right here, it's a glass and also Pebble Tech pool with pop-ups. Now this is a very expensive pool. This is not a cheap pool to, to build. Take a look at that, that's gorgeous, isn't it? This backyard, gorgeous backyard. You got your, your pit for your fireplace. Takes you guys back here to the side of the house. Now this lot size here is actually 23,522 square feet on the lot. So you definitely could put a RV here. If you had an RV, what I would do actually do is a sewer hookup on this. Here was that one room that we were just in, and here's the garage door. Never seen these uh, AC units before. Oh, okay, so the this is actually a swamp cooler. The swamp cooler was actually in the garage. What's nice about a swamp cooler is the uh, kind of gives you that humidity, okay? And it's actually good when you you know. If you have cars and stuff like that a lot of people will put this in their garage some people will actually sub substitute this instead of an AC unit I would never do that for the home because you kind of do get that musty smell now how it works is this this line right here is a water line so water comes in here comes all the way up to the top here sprays out equally on top of this uh, coil here or this uh, this mesh right as it comes down There's a blower motor inside it blows the air inside to the home So I don't know if you guys can see the the ductwork and the transition here however a couple things with this um, As you can see, I don't know if you guys can see really close up here um, Calcium starts to build up because the water is so harsh here, when you start building up calcium, what has to happen is every year you have to change this out. This just pops up and lifts up. You take out this mesh and you should be able to replace it with another one and you would scrub all the calcium um, up on the inside. However, as you can see, you know, the water is so harsh, you really got to take care of those systems. I love this type of texture on this home right here. This is a very hard texture to do and this is very expensive. This is just not your regular spray on stucco here. I mean, look at the eaves, the eaves are even stucco. I'm gonna come all the way up here, show you what this looks like, even though if I dirty my shoes. This is what I do for all the subscribers here. You guys have been very loyal to me, so I'm about to take it above and beyond. So take a look at this. Look at that strip view over there, huh? Look at this lot.
Beautiful home. I love the uh, design on this. I'm gonna take a shortcut. Better not eat it. Ooh. It's a gorgeous pool. And the breeze that just comes through here, like with this door open, I mean, look at this. Ooh, it just feels so good right here. The mountains and all that stuff. Here's that fire pit right there. This must look nice at night. Got the synthetic grass. Here's the uh, master, okay. Here's the uh, pool pump. You can tell the uh, pool pump has been well maintained. I mean, look how brand new this pool pump still looks. And it is a gas as well. So it is a heated pool, okay. I love this little swing set here. Now, you're probably wondering what this is. This is a propane tank. So because uh, this area that we are in, okay, does not have city gas connected to it. So it actually has a propane, okay? Also another thing that you have to take a look at when you buy in more of a rural area is, does a home actually have a septic tank, okay? If it has a septic tank, be aware of this. You need to find out if it's a leach field or if it's a tank. Now, if you're buying a home, you definitely want to get those items inspected. But before even getting that inspected, number one, it's an additional cost. So you have to find somebody that is licensed to inspect that because you want to hold them accountable. And number two is you have to find somebody that will actually come out and pump it. The reason why you have to pump out the septic tank first is because how can they expect it when if it's full of doo-doo? You know what I'm talking about? So it just doesn't make any sense. So that's a cost that you're going to have to consider. Also, this property right here, okay, uh, I believe this one actually also has a public well. So what I like about a well is it's actually from a natural spring. Sometimes what they do is drill hundreds of uh, feet into the ground to actually get to the water, okay? Now this one, I believe that they actually share the, um, the water here with the community. Sometimes you can actually get your own well. The ones that actually have a well, which is nice, you'll have endless water and you don't have to pay uh, for the water bill. So to me, that's actually a really a plus. However, when you start doing that, you definitely want to uh, make sure you do a water testing to the water when you buy a home especially if it has its own wealth because you have to take care of it, make sure it's filtered out properly and all that stuff. So this one does have a common well and I prefer to have my own well, but when you start having a common well, what happens is you're gonna have to pay, pay for the common well and you're gonna have to um, share the maintenance with all for your neighbors. Ooh, I love this part. Too bad this wasn't a zero threshold though. That would have been nice if this was a zero threshold. Look at all that crown molding, huh? So this area would actually take you into the uh, laundry area. We can go upstairs, okay? Here's the master. However, I'm gonna just show you the laundry area real quick. The laundry area does have a sink, granite countertops. You still have the upper cabinets, 42, solid, okay? What I like about this one is, look at this. Your electric and washer would be right here for the master, right? Because your master closet is right, I'm sorry, your, yeah, your master closet is right here. So you just come out here to wash your clothes. What I like about this home, there's actually two laundry rooms. So here's your master bedroom downstairs, which is a plus. It's really hard to find master bedrooms downstairs now for some reason. I don't know why. This room is a 22 by 20. 
carpets. Here's all your um, hookups for your TV cable, all right there, your alarm system, okay? Right here, you have your slider. We were just out there, okay? Coming into the master bath, so to the left, as we come in, we actually have your um, chiller here. This is where I put all my like soda waters. If you guys know me, you guys know I like soda, uh, Coke, or soda water. I drink a lot of soda water at night. Every once in a while, I'll have a uh, Pepsi or a Coke. Look at this Roman tub. Now, I love the travertine tile here. What I like about travertine tile, it's very easy to fix. It chips very easy, but also it is very easy to fix. Jacuzzi tub. Love the sink. There, there's a name for this type of sink. Uh, I'm not too sure uh, what it's called, where the sink is above uh, the vanity. If you guys know the proper names for that, especially you designers out there, uh, please let me know. Cabinets are the same. So off to the left here, we actually have a large water closet, okay? Swing you guys around this way. So here's actually the shower. I'm gonna just turn the light on, but you'll hear the fan. Love the three by threes. We'll take a look at the shower. This is some pr pretty serious stuff. I mean, I like it, it's kind of cool. Okay, turn that off because it's too loud. So here was a door that we went through for the laundry room, which is nice. This right here, this is kind of cool. This is like your mirror and your, ooh, who that handsome guy right there? Okay, so I'm just gonna shut that, okay? This is where you hang all your clothes, which is really nice. Oh look, you got a little doggy door right there, okay? This would probably be all your shoes right here. This right here, I don't know why they have this. This is a little bit odd. Old school ironing board. How this works, this just comes on down, but I'm not gonna take all that down right now. So we have the alarm system here, thermostat there, ceiling fan, light switch. Here, this is actually pretty creative as far as an architectural design. Um, I guess, what were they gonna do with this space that's underneath the staircase? Well, they actually made it into a small little office area, which is, I'm 5'6", and this height here is probably about six feet. Very creative on what they did. Now as we come upstairs, the staircase, solid wood, it is wide. You have iron rods, which is really nice. Take a look at this. Look how huge this whole area is as you come upstairs. So here's like another living room area. This is a good 30 by 25. I mean, look at this. I'm gonna show you the outside here, in front of the home. Look at the mountain views. Get up. 
all that book shelving. Up here, if you wanted to, you probably put a little stove or something, microwave. Put all your wine right there. Thermostat right here. Look how huge this room is. Like, this is like another game room slash whatever you want. This this room is huge. Well, th this would actually be considered a loft area. This this one right here is twenty eight by twenty. This is a huge room. 10 foot ceilings. You have a ceiling fan in here. There's another room. I mean, <laughs> these rooms are, this, this room is almost bigger than my master bedroom. There's no closet doors, definitely needs a closet door. Here's your three-quarter bath. This is uh, made by uh, three by eight solid wood. Not too sure what type of wood. Here's your shower. You got tile all the way to the top. I did forget to mention uh, to you guys that the texture here is actually orange peel texture this room right here is actually your laundry room electric dryer ample storage this looks like your attic access point right here too as well Again, I mean, look at the book shelving on here. Look at this. It's beautiful. Come out here to the balcony. All I know is in my younger days, I would probably run over here, suicide and do a bomb into the pool. Now, all my people from Red Hill, they all know what I'm talking about. We used to go to the pool all the time. Back bombs, suicides, I think it's called. Coming back into the home. We got two more bedrooms here. This bedroom is a good 13 by 12. Looks like you'd put your TV right there. You have a nice little desk area. Coming into your walk-in closet. This one has its own full bath. You got your uh, cast iron tub. You got tile all the way to the top. And you got your vanity. Oh, I forgot to mention as far as the uh, taxes on here, property taxes. You're not going to believe the property taxes on here. States that the property taxes are only five thousand three hundred four dollars. Woo! I know people paying thirty thousand dollars a year on property taxes. Love the fact that you got a thermostat in this bedroom. Again, this would actually be your TV section right here. Here's your bathroom. Same configuration as the last one that we just walked into. Tile all the way to the top.
you got your desk area and your walk-in closet same thing All for one million four hundred and ninety thousand dollars. I'm curious to hear what your thoughts are about this property in the link below. If this is something that you would be interested in for two hundred and thirty two dollars a square foot. If you have not subscribed to this YouTube channel, I would highly recommend that you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, for all my patrons, if you have any friends or family, uh, don't forget to tell them to subscribe to this channel. And also, if you would like pictures of high-end custom homes, of the homes that I view and walk through, go to my Instagram. All you got to do is just type up Chuck It's Crucible, and you can see all the Instagram photos of the luxury homes. I will be shooting more and more videos like this as well. Also, don't forget to give me a thumbs up too. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Chuck, it's Chris Want with Simply Vegas, and have a blessed day.